What is up, everyone? My name is Cody Campbell, and welcome back to another StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void video. In the last video, we, uh, we, we went to see if the Zelnaga would help us, but unfortunately, we were too late to seek their help. But now, we're going to another planet. The void portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Kapulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet. But Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately. Eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zerg broods in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Mobius Corps. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Kerax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the first board to stop the coming oblivion. The Zelnaga are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. If we are to fight, we must raise an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time, they will not fail us. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. Alright, I guess we'll head here. An armada. Behold the Death Fleet under Amon's command, poised on laying waste to all life in the sector. Then we had best act swiftly. Rakshir, usurpation by ritual combat cannot be rushed. Its rights demand careful preparations if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Talgarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. I wish to know more about this Rakshir, your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links 
to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will, and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood, any Taldarine can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so, but he has yet to face me. Ah, Artanis. I believe I will serve you more effectively from here. Besides, I would rather Alarak remain where he can be watched. There are things I understand about the Taldarim. Their zeal, their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies, aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending the cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. I've been analyzing the Taldarim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kalai designs. Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. Um... Yeah, finally get that ability. Hierarch, my scouts are tracking the movements of the Golden Armada. of Rakshir, preparations must be completed, as the decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. The War Council awaits...
These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. If it must be done. Wait, what is that strange fog? Tarazine. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. I thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazine flows, we must endure the onslaught. The Terrazine will rise shortly, my warriors. Be vigilant. Void rays can now be warped in at our Stargate. They are ideal for intercepting foes in the battle ahead. Well done, Faze Smith. We will make good use of them. Faze Crystal's charge. world in the void is lifting. Amon's forces will arrive soon. Guardians stand watch over the shrines. Kill them slowly and painfully. My people will fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. to scan the Tal'Darine motherships in this region. They are carrying shipments of Solarite. I don't think Alarak would mind if we liberated them. We are one with the 
shadows. Come on, come on, come on. Upgrade complete. complete. complete.
the shadow. Upgrade complete. I am the voice. I am here in the shadows. <laughs> You require my skills. You have not enough minerals. to the end. This shall not be our end, but a new beginning. Upgrade complete. Very wise. Gathers, Artanas. Make your preparations if you're so inclined. is fading. What better time is there to slay my enemies? Very well. It shall be as you say. Nexus. We have destroyed a Taldarine mothership. Excellent. Only one remains. I am the heart of darkness. State thy bidding.
firstborn. Another guardian has fallen. What a thrilling sight. If it is so thrilling, why not join us? Well, I must save my strength to face Malash, of course. Intriguing. to think of what they were planning to do with it. We move unseen. Basically just back and forth with this one. for our nexus. It 
shall be. Mineral field depleted. I serve. Approach the void. Ready your warriors. Here in the shadows. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Forever sleep. You will stand against a god? Intriguing. the right of Rakshir. Fight me according to our laws, or die a coward. We meet in combat at daybreak. You shall have your chance. I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. Slaying Malash's guardians fulfilled more than one purpose. Once the High Lord lies dead at my feet, none will challenge my rule. After all these years, my victory is nearly at hand. I feel his concern on Tannis. He knows that I'm coming for him. Malash? No. Amon. Through the breath of creation, I peer beyond the veil. Oh yes, I feel his rage washing over me. He knows I no longer fear him. He knows that the Taldarim have no collar for him to control. I will turn the Chosen against him. Do not assume you are already victorious, Alarak. Do not let the Terrazine cloud your judgment. You have a battle to win first. The battle is already won. In my mind's eye, I have delivered the killing blow in a thousand ways. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. 
Do not let yours aid Malash. Spoken as one who welcomes defeat. There are new personnel awaiting your review in War Council, Hyrule. Malash has proven himself to be a dangerous leader. Indeed. That's why my victory shall be the sweetest of ecstasy. Has he defeated many in this rite? Countless. He ascended the chain with brutal wrath, plowing through all who opposed him. It's as if he were blessed by the Dark God. They called him the Blade of Amon. And still he was challenged? It is our way. He defeated each with lingering cruelty. Malash revels in bringing his challengers to the edge of death and tormenting them for a time after. That does not comfort me, Alarak. Comfort is a myth given to younglings until they are ready for the trials and pain that is true existence. Leave me. It is time to make preparations. This chain of ascension is a despicable practice. It is how the Kalai once thought of the Nerezim's Shadow Walk. There is no comparison. Our society was not founded upon... Their culture is one unyielding hierarchy, servant to master, a constant reinforcement of their bondage to Amon. But they have been lied to, Matriarch. And how could this change if it is all they have ever known? Our people once only knew hatred of one another. Suspicion. Yes. We viewed your practices as barbaric, and you viewed ours as cruel. It is the same with the Tal'Darim. With the destruction of Amon and the revelation of his betrayal, I expect their entire society to seek out who they truly are and what they wish to be. The assault ships are now ready for your inspection. Bleh. Destruction is at hand. Paradakural. Destruction is at hand. Nothing to go with the destroyers. Carax, the Keystone, it's reacting to void energies upon the planet's surface, most likely. I've seen this before on Ulnar. This Terezine must be directly linked to the Void. The Tal'Darim call it the Breath of Creation. They believe imbibing it allows them to speak directly to Amon. A far-fetched claim, yet I cannot deny its plausibility. The substance's properties appear to be foreign to our universe. Perhaps this is why it is so holy to them. They seek out planets rich in Terezin, and turn them into temples to their god. Our coming here may be a blessing to us. If the Keystone reacts to Terezin like it does with Void Energy, I may be able to use it to stress the artifact, determine its limits. Perhaps fate has not abandoned us completely. We must have faith. I prefer results, Hierarch. Amon is powerful in measures that eclipse even the Queen of Blades. There is no room for uncertainty. Hey, um...
The rite of Rakshir has begun. From this moment, only Alarak and Malash are allowed to engage each other in combat directly. One must overpower the other and reach the pit of sacrifice. There, the victor will stand as the new leader of the Talgarim, and the loser's life will be forfeit. They appear quite evenly matched. This is true. However, from what I have learned, Rakshir allows the champion's supplicants to support them psionically. Our warriors will be able to aid Alara. But likewise, the Talgarim can assist Malash. I will ready our forces. Malash will fight ruthlessly to hold on to his power. We must be prepared to do the same. send warriors to aid Mala shortly. We should ensure Alarak has sufficient reinforcements. Malash is drawing power from the Taldarim. Alarak will need the support of our warriors. Yes, your psionic power courses through me. Move forward, slaves. Kill all who aid Malash! You would do well to remember that I command these warriors, Alabak, not you. I don't understand how this is possible, but my scanners are detecting high solarite concentrations in the native beasts here. We ought to pursue them. However, I think it's best if we don't inform Alarak of this little diversion. Understood, Hierarch.
Chaldarim attack force is inbound on our nexus point. Brothers, attack the firstborn directly. This warrior awakens. This warrior awakens. This warrior awakens. Identify our foe. Sensing hybrid. They come to aid Malash. Amon's harbingers join our struggle. Fight well, warriors, and you will also ascend into hybrid. Oh, you lie with such conviction. It is our most admirable. Basically, my method here is just hold off, hold them off as long. More hybrid approaching. Be ready. State thy bidding. Well done, warriors. The first beast has been slain. We move unseen. Upgrade complete. <laughs> 
Taldarim are moving against us from the upper pathway. Prepare our defenses. Taldarim, slaughter the firstborn, and your ascension will be assured. This warrior awakens. Upgrade complete. for us to build a second nexus here. Coordinates. Warping it aboard.
warrior awakens. We with great power are on their way to Malash. Preliminary scans indicate that the Solarite deposits are a byproduct of the beast's unusual digestive system. Are you saying that they're... Wait. Never mind. I do not wish to know. Confrontation draws to a close, Malash. Soon everyone will know the depth of your treachery. I 
sense more hybrid approaching. Be ready. already won, Alarak. You lead our people to their doom. You are right about one thing, Malash. I will lead them. Alderim, by the right of Rakshir, I am your High Lord. Listen and obey. Malash promised you lies. There is no ascension. The Taldarim will never be uplifted and become hybrid. Amon betrayed us, and for this, he must die. As you do. What they believe is of little consequence. What matters is that they obey. You choose to rule differently than I, Alarak. Despite this, we may not only end the violence between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us say that for now, we have struck another bargain. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the Solar Core now. Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. Amon's presence within the Kala grows stronger. He is becoming harder to resist. You risk much for this, Rohana. He believes all suffering, all conflict, results from the Zelnaga's infinite cycle. That it must end. Yes, he has made this clear. But you see only the surface. Underneath, a silent hatred roils within him. A prideful resentment that would see all worlds burn. The hybrid are the true face of Amon. He wishes not only for the Zelnaga's creations to be set aside, but 
for them to suffer. Artanis, you should know my fear of the Taldorim is not of them now, but what becomes of them if Amon is defeated. You fear they will never integrate with our society? They share our blood, but they are not like us. You know in your heart that may never change. It is true. A great battle may loom on the horizon ahead of us, but it's a risk we must take. It is a great risk. The dawn of a unified Protoss requires much. Like the threads of a cloth, we must come together and be stronger because of it. To think what we become with their culture influencing us. Changing us. Yes. We will be changed. And perhaps that is what you fear more than battle. The path ahead is uncharted, Matriarch. Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. Alright, uh, what's this, uh, unused? From the units gain a 25% bonus. Uh, guardian shield friendly. Is vulnerable for five seconds. going to end the video today. Hope you all enjoyed it. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. This is Cody, and I'll see you next time.